everyone, this is Kalpana here in this video. We are going to solve the given differential equation. So let's get going. Problem. Solve dy by dx plus y by x equals to y square sine x sine x. Solution. Given differential equation. dy by dx plus y by x equals to y square x sine x consider the given equation as equation 1 again you can write this as dy by dx plus split this as 1 by x into y equals to functions of x into functions or function of y right so we have Bernoulli's equation in y, right? Which is Bernoulli's equation in y. We know that the Bernoulli's equation in y is of the form dy by dx plus p into y equals to q into y power n, where p and q are either functions of x alone. Or constants. Okay. Again, we have n here, right? Where n is real number such that n not equals to zero and n not equals to one, right? So by comparing these two, we can say that the given differential equation is a Bernoulli's equation. Again, by comparing these two, we'll get P, Q, and N, where P equals to 1 by X, Q equals to X sine X, and we have Y power N equals to Y square, right? Simply equate these two. Then from this, we can say N equals to 2. By equating the powers, we'll get N equals to 2. Okay? Fine. Now comes to the Bernoulli's equation as equation 2. Now we need to reduce the Bernoulli's equation to linear equation. Right? We know that the standard form of linear equation in X Sorry, linear equation in y is dy by dx plus p into y equals to q, where p and q are either functions of x alone or constants, right? See, in RHS, you have q, only q, right? P and Q are functions of X alone. But here we have function of Y, Y square, right? In order to reduce this Bernoulli's equation to linear equation, firstly, we need to eliminate Y square from this equation too. In order to eliminate Y square from this equation, what we'll do is we'll simply divide the whole equation by this Y square or multiply the whole equation with 1 by Y square, okay? We'll get 1 by y square into dy by dx plus 1 by x into y by y square equals to x sine x y, sorry, x sine x into y square by y square where y square gets cancelled and here 1 by gets cancelled and you'll get 1 by y square into dy by dx plus 1 by x into 1 by y equals to x sine x okay so we have done directly so what happens if we multiply with 1 by y square on both sides then we'll get 1 by y square into d 
dy by dx plus 1 by x into y equals to x sin x into y square okay 1 by y square times rhs then we will get 1 by y square into dy by dx plus 1 by x into y by y square equals to x sin x when y square gets cancelled you will get x sin x on the rhs the same thing you will get okay here 1 by gets cancelled and you will get the same thing either you can multiply equation 2 by 1 by y square or you can divide either you can multiply 1 by y square on both sides to this equation or you can divide y square okay on both sides fine now we have 1 by y square into dy by dx plus 1 by x into 1 by y equals to x sin x let one by y equals to u or u equals to one by y now differentiate on both sides with respect to x okay du by dx equals to derivative of the function with respect to y minus one by y square into t by y dx this comes from the chain rule see here we have done directly but this comes from the chain rule du by dx equals to du by here this is a function of y right so here comes the differential dy in between okay now we need to find du by dy since you have u equals to 1 by y to differentiate on both sides with respect to x, then we'll get du by dx equals to, sorry, with respect to y, right? Derivative of 1 by y with respect to y is minus 1 by y square. Now, we replace du by dy equals to minus 1 by y square here, then we'll get du by dx equals to minus 1 by y square into dy by dx. The same thing, right? Now, multiply with minus on both sides, then we'll get minus du by dx equals to minus into minus plus 1 by y square into dy by dx. Why we have multiplied with minus here is See, in the equation, you're having 1 by y square into dy by dx, right? So, we need to replace 1 by y square into dy by dx, but we are having minus here. So, this has to be eliminated for that purpose. What we have done is we'll simply multiply this equation on both sides with this minus. Then, minus du by dx equals to 1 by y square into dy by dx right when u equals to 1 by y then minus sorry then minus du by dx equals to 1 by y square into dy by dx okay minus du by dx equals to 1 by y square into dy by dx now we can replace 1 by y square to dy by dx and 1 by y in the above equation. Then the above equation becomes minus du by dx plus 1 by x into u equals to x sine x. Now, see the equation of uh, linear equation, the equation of dy by dx must be 1, right? That is positive. But here you are having negative sign, minus symbol, minus sign otherwise. So what we'll do is we'll simply multiply on both sides with minus. Then we'll get 
minus into minus plus du by dx minus 1 by x into u equals to minus x sin x. Okay. Which is linear in u. Right. In u and x. Now comparing these two, you can say that this is linear in U again. By comparing these two, we will get P and Q. Where P equals to minus 1 by X and Q equals to minus x sin x. Right? So the quotient of du by dx is 1. Now let's find integrating factor. Integrating factor of linear equation in u is un by e power integral p differential dx. Equals to e power integral for p equals to minus 1 by x into dx. Equals to e power minus integral 1 by x dx is log mod x. Again you can write this as e power minus log x equals to e power log x inverse, right, is equals to, we know that e power log some function of x equals to function of x and we will get function of x, reciprocal of x. So here our integrating factor is 1 by x. Now we need to find the general solution. See, we have reduced the given equation to linear equation form so that we are using the linear equation procedure to find the general solution to the given equation. Right? Fine. You know that the general solution of linear equation in U is given by u into integrating factor equals to q into integrating factor into differential dx plus c. Now using this formula we will find the general solution to the given equation. The general solution to the given equation is u into integrating factor 1 by x equals to integral q for q equals to minus x sin x into integrating factor 1 by x into dx plus c is equals to x case cancel you'll get minus sine integral sine x dx plus c is equals to minus we know that integral sin x dx is minus cos x plus c So we don't write any constants while evaluating integrals okay because finally we'll get a constant okay some number so instead of writing all the constants in any every integral we'll simply or we'll finally write one constant instead of writing constant everywhere okay is equal to cos x plus c. Fine. So now we got u into 1 by x equals to cos x plus c. Then u equals to take this x to RHS, you'll get x times cos x plus c. 
from this you will get u equals to x cos x plus c into x cx. Right? Now replace u since u equals to 1 by y then this equation becomes 1 by y equals to x cos x plus cx which is the required solution or you can take this y to RHS then you will get 1 equals to y times x cos x plus cx then 1 equals to xy cos x plus cx into y cx1 this completes the problem so we have seen a problem from Bernoulli's equation in this video hope you will understand we will see in the next video until then bye bye